Rendol to patre, patre, patre. Our reality is for sure limited by our senses, like a warm worm that can't perceive light. There might be uh, something right on top or around us that we can't fathom. I, I agree with Rendol and with Padre, of course, right? Uh, and I think that's where meditation, uh, shamanism, entheogens, uh, psychedelic experiences uh, come into place, right? Uh, I think they break the boundary. And I think, just to elaborate on this, I think the boundary, uh, the dimension, lower dimension that we're stuck on, is due to gravity, right? If we can eliminate the 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 force of gravity that we that that is exerted on us right that influences us i think once we eliminate that sense of gravity which in large part we, there's still debate on is it a push or a pull force right what is it really if we're able to eliminate gravity then i think we're about we can reach the if we want to call the higher dimensions but i don't i don't want to call them dimensions to a certain degree we can reach uh or reach out to other entities right uh so uh and i think a lot of shaman a lot of uh people who uh have experimented with shamanism psychonauts entheogens i think a lot of those people know that right um and i also think a lot of those people weren't prepared to experience such profound um, such profound information regarding our reality or our essence that a lot of people's minds have been shattered because they didn't i guess as uh, crowley or robert anton wilson would say regarding crowley he didn't open up his heart chakra so i think one of the first things people need to open up is their heart chakra to be able to experience uh such profoundness really i know i'm talking in riddles but uh, we've talked a lot about this stuff in the past